Stop! Well, how you treat me? Stop! Where Turn you around right now! Where, where's uh, this video has sparked outrage on social media. A passenger captured the tense moments between a Griffin police officer and a driver during a traffic stop yesterday. A number of people have shared the video on our Fox 5 Atlanta Facebook page questioning the officer's actions. But tonight we've tracked down the video you have not seen from the officer's body camera. Now, after reviewing their video, the police department tells us they don't believe the officer used excessive force. Well, Fox 5's Claire Sims has the story all new at 6 tonight. Stop on me. Stop. 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 But you're being a stop. stop on me. Okay. Stop. But you, but you, you're. I'm about to hate you. Okay, stop. Here, My heart dropped. My heart literally dropped because I didn't know what they was going to do to him. Qantas Terrell says she was shocked to see the video of the traffic stop involving her fiancé, Joshua McDowell. The clip shared over and over again on social media, many questioning the actions of the Griffin police officer. Where's your body camera? Turn around. Where's your body camera? He's hurt that it happened to him. 94 dispatch. According to the Griffin Police Department, the officer in the video witnessed McDowell in a drug transaction and tried to pull him over. Over. This is video from the officer's body camera of the traffic stop. Hey, let me see your hands, Joshua. Police say McDowell has a history of running, and they claim that's what he tried to do after the officer cuffed one of his hands behind his back. That's when the body camera cuts off and the social media video picks up. Griffin PD says the officer pinned McDowell against the car to keep him from fleeing. My hand is broke, sir. Sir, I'm not resisting. Police arrested McDowell and charged him with obstructing officers as well as possession of marijuana and ecstasy. In a statement to Fox 5, the Griffin Police Department said they reviewed the incident and it was found that the officer's actions were reasonable under the circumstances and his use of force was not excessive. Though they did acknowledge the officer's use of expletives was not desirable. But McDowell's fiance says she believes more needs to be done. Honestly, I hope they get rid of no officer because they shouldn't have to happen to no one. Police say the drug investigation is ongoing. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.